Like many of you, I have a long list of things to watch, but it's always great when something comes out of nowhere and catches your eye. Finishing Wednesday, I don't think so, we've got a Norwegian troll film to watch. Yes, yes, oh god, yes! Something I liked straight away with this film is that it knew exactly what it wanted to be and that is a monster film. Even with just a sneaky gander at the promotional pictures or the trailer, you'll see that this is very much a rip off of many other films, especially King Kong. I mean, they even name drop him at one point as well. And with this one, you could probably start a drinking game where you drink every time you see a cliche. So with that said, the film followed a very familiar pattern and I think, you know, even though the film's 90 minutes long, it did go by really quickly. The film begins 20 years in the past with our main character Nora when she's a child with her father looking over the mountains and talking about the troll folklore. That father-daughter relationship is the only relationship they really focus on in the film apart from, of course, humans against troll. And with how they went about it, you're definitely on the side of the troll because at the start of the film we see some protesters protesting about a tunnel being dug throughout the mountains and of course with the troll he's like an embodiment of Earth fighting back against man-made destruction. And it's quite funny we have a film touching on this subject so soon after Disney's Strange World which wasn't very good but it had another environmental message. The film attempts to add a bit of comedy in there but most of the jokes are those ones where you say something and then do the complete opposite sort of joke. The movie also has an epic score which can be quite funny when it comes in just after a cheesy line of dialogue. With the film wanting to speed run through things, there's plenty of convenient moments. Like our main character Nora, who's a paleontologist, she gets drafted in to speak to some government officials and also a Ray Theresa May looking Prime Minister, and then she gets power over some big decisions which she definitely shouldn't be making. Overall, Troll is not a good film, and you know, even though it's a Netflix film, it kind of reminds me of one of those sort of films you find on TV at 11 o'clock at night on some random channel and see it's called Troll, and you see it's a monster film about Norwegian folklore, and be like, oh, alright, I'm on board for that and then have an okay time of it and i gotta say that's what i had with this film and i think if you are a monster flick fan and then maybe give this one a go the film does leave you with a tease for a sequel so it'd be interesting to see how well this film does to see if it actually does get one if you've seen troll let me know your thoughts down below and if not let me know your favorite monster film and if you fancy another video on screen right now is one which youtube are recommending for you